for some reason, meals, dishes that contain eggs are considered to be breakfast. But we don't eat breakfast, we don't understand breakfast. And to me, most of breakfast foods are slightly, I'm sorry to say, boring breakfast meals because the eggs have so much protein, they will keep you all day on your feet. Um, I think it's not bad. Um, let me tell you something. You shouldn't care what they consider. It's very flavorful, fragrant, delicious, spicy, tangy, all in one. So you better make it and enjoy it. My most favorite nighttime meal, um, I have to confess, is sunny upside down. Sunny down, sunny side down. Sunny side up, upside down, sunny side up. <gasps> Sorry, I'll start again. I wonder who came up the idea, who decided that eggs need to be eaten as breakfast only. That's not true. In fact, uh, my most favorite meal, nighttime meal, is sunny side up. Yeah. Sunny side up, yes, not upside down. <laughs> I don't know why I said it, but yeah, it's delicious, it gives you power and strength, you go to sleep, you wake up even more um, strong person. So this meal that I'm making, it includes eggs, um, tomatoes, peppers, onion, all these ingredients, but it's not breakfast, it's a simple, flavorful, um, spicy, aromatic dish that you can make anytime you want. No morning, no evening, no rules for this dish. And most importantly, it's super easy to make. Imagine you have the pan or pot, you put all your ingredients in that pot, cook it, and at the end you just like gracefully add the beaten eggs and it's ready. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. So I have my pot, I have one small or medium onion. You can chop it large, small, um, thin, thick. It's up to your preference. So I'll do this and go from there. You can certainly use canned tomatoes, but in case you have very old, wrinkled, poor, tomatoes, not potatoes. No, wrinkled potatoes need to go uh, either as a um, planting something or into trash. But tomatoes can be used in most of the dishes. In soups, you don't want to throw them away if they are simply wrinkled. So peel them, you simply put them in boiling water and then into cold water and remove the peel by making that cross. You know, everyone knows how to remove the peel from tomatoes. If you don't, search it up on Google how to peel a tomato easily. Um, yeah, I'm gonna slice the tomatoes large, small, chunky or smooth. You wanna use a blender, I wouldn't recommend that. It's gonna become like tomato juice. You don't want that. We're making something more uh, worthy. Carefully transfer your tomatoes into pot. Don't do it carelessly. Never. This goes here. If you're a brave woman just like me, grab a jalapeno or spicy pepper because you know, if you're not making spicy omelette with tomatoes, it's not uh, the dish you want to make. It's You're not making it for babies. You're making it for a strong person. So I have um, Anaheim chili, which is not spicy, and jalapeno, which is, you know, already. You can certainly remove the seeds if you don't like eating seedy peppers. I don't think anyone enjoys seeds from peppers or any, <laughs> anything that has large seeds. Okay, but jalapenos. You need to have them with seeds. Mm, we're almost done. 
Not always, but preferably, garlic is another ingredient for this dish. My mom wouldn't make this with garlic, but it gives so much beautiful taste that you want to add it. Uh, usually I would add a, a whole clove, like smash it and add it and then later remove it. But this time I'm going to chop it finely and just leave it in there. Let it be. Use a garlic squeezer if you like. Mm -hmm. Optionally, not importantly, I like to use a little bit of red pepper paste. It's mild, it's not too spicy, but it still has some heat. Let it be in there. I have it on my channel, Herine, uh, red pepper paste. You should find it. Okay, for the spices, simple. I'll use paprika, like a teaspoonful, let's say. I never measure these things. It's, it's not professional to measure certain spices. Black pepper is classic. Half a teaspoonful, I should say. Let's see. One of the most imp important greens or herbs in this dish is basil. And since uh, I grew up in Armenia, we always had this purple basil. We, I don't remember having the green basil back in Armenia. But yeah, if you don't have purple, use uh, any basil you have, any color of basil. A teaspoonful or so. I know that fresh basil, I don't have it fresh. So I'll use dry basil to taste olive oil. One teaspoonful or three or five teaspoon or tablespoon, it's up to your taste. But I like this omelet very like mm, full fat. So I also add about 25-30 grams of butter. And did I add everything? And salt. Salt to taste. I'm gonna send this to my nut oven stove top and cook it until it simmers down a little bit, egg the eggs, and I'll show you something else also. Just don't go anywhere yet. Stir it once in a while, just to pay attention so the dish doesn't feel all lonely and unattended. While that's cooking, let me show you a quick breakfast idea. In case someone doesn't like eggs, for example, my husband, he never... He ate eggs once in his life. It was a disappointment and since then he can't come across, come close to eggs. So for him, if I make something for me, um, including tomatoes, I don't want him to feel bad, so I always make him something else with tomatoes <laughs> that made a lot of sense okay so um uh, this is by the way kamuto tomatoes very sweet very delicious and um, i'm recommending them uh -huh. so you chop them or slice them small or big to your husband's preference it's so simple and so delicious Let's not forget, we have something cooking here. Once in a while, just pay attention. This goes into my plate. It's not a bowl. I'm adding just a teeny pinch of garlic powder. A good amount of black pepper. Drizzle of olive oil, extra virgin always, super virgin olive oil. Teeny bit of cayenne or chili, I should say. Chili flakes for some heat and salt to taste, just as usual. Mixy mix, just like so. This is ready, this is the topping. And I'm making simple avocado toast if you're asking. And for the toast, I normally, for my husband, make. Um, Did I scare you? Okay. Get used to 
I, I normally use rye bread because it's super good for you and it's so tender, cuts through so perfectly um, comparing to the other kind of sourdough which cuts through slightly difficult because the crust is a little bit crusty. And let me grab my knife. I'll slice the bread to your I'll slice it to your preference okay I know you like it thin slices my dear viewers <laughs> mm -hmm. and this is a like magic bread it can stay like I don't know how many days more than a week at room temperature although I prefer uh, placing my bread into fridge and stay tuned we'll be uh, filming sharing my sourdough starter recipe oh it's not a recipe it's an entire story so yeah, that will be next. I know you guys want me to make sourdough bread on this channel as well, so I'll do it. And I'll mix this, not to forget. Mm -hmm. Okay, avocado. Know how to cut it, how to remove the seeds. If you don't, you can search, Google it. How to cut avocado and remove the seeds. And I'm not smashing the avocado. I'm gonna simply make this slashes and he likes it with tiny bites or bits instead of smashed pureed he has his preferences i love you you too okay i'm gonna save this half to show you something with this deliciousness for avocado, use your favorite seasonings or spices. We found that, we found out, I mean, we were doing research and found out that barbecue spice or seasoning works so well with avocado, even sauces. So I have, uh, I got this from Trader Joe's. Use any of your uh, barbecue seasonings. Just light drizzle. A little bit of salt some lemon juice and I'll go ahead and add some chili because avocado likes cayenne or chili or any red peppers I know avocado so well and just slightly mix and mash it not over mash or smash it in case your husband is just like mine he has his avocado preferences all right, let me just clean up a little bit and show you the rest. Now, as you would imagine, you pour the avocado slices first, tomato last, and I'll let you know what else on top. Feta, if you can't wait to find out it's feta cheese, crumbled feta. So delicious. I'm gonna use this kind of spoon to strain the tomatoes because my husband specifically he has another preference he doesn't like juicy sandwiches so to avoid the juiciness I'll strain the tomatoes mm, we're almost there and by the way the other dish we're making it's ready I'm gonna add the eggs in a second. Let's first feed our husbands and kids, because husband just like kids. Just like the oldest kid. Mm -hmm. And a small touch of crumbled feta. And um, since he doesn't like herbs, I'm not adding any basil or partly will go, cilantro will go well, anything to your husband's preference. <laughs> breakfast for husband, I should call this video breakfast for husband. Mm -hmm. I think this looks perfect, but it's asking me for something like a colorful touch. Oh, let me go grab some seeds, chia and hemp seeds. A light touch. 
you want to uh, give the best to your <laughs> husband and kids pack it full with vitamins and nutrients you want them to be healthy mm -hmm. these are hemp seeds and that's it enjoy my wonderful amazing husband just wait take a picture and then oh don't wait don't eat it don't take a picture i need to add the eggs last touch and simply i don't know how your husband does but my husband when he's choosing eggs he never checks if they are whole or they have cracks in them so he purchased cracked eggs it's just a advice to all husbands out there when you go for egg hunting <laughs> choose the ones that are safely um, in safe condition anyway i was just making a story Cooper. and look at this you can uh, let it be more juicy and don't overcook or cook too much i like it that, like this it's not too juicy it's not too dry so you add the eggs removed from the heat and let it cook with the remaining of the heat from tomatoes or you can cook through if you like it well cooked which i will do just like so light let me use this thing so i don't scratch my wonderful pen mm -hmm. I'm gonna cover the lid and remove no I'm not gonna remove from the heat I'm just gonna leave it on the stove because electric stoves you know they keep the heat for a long time so it will cook down what I was gonna tell you oh no that's it let's take a picture you can eat and I'm gonna join you Now, very quickly, let me show you how I like to enjoy my Lolikov Zavadzeh. It's in Armenian. It's like omelette with tomatoes. Simple something. And simple something doesn't have to taste simple. It's absolutely delicious. Slice of bread. You top it with your Zavadzeh, which is omelette in Armenian. It's a hard word. Can you even pronounce it Zavadzeh. You can't, I know. It's hard, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. uh, as a topping, I'll go with avocado, and I already drizzled lemon on my avocado so it doesn't uh, get all on beautiful color. Just like so. it nicely next layer some drizzle of no, crumble drizzle but drizzle I forgot to add this I forgot to drizzle some balsamic sauce or how you call it balsamic deliciousness it's super delicious this brand um, it's not sponsored I'm just recommending it's incredibly delicious sauce but balsamic sauce and what else and since i don't mind vegetables uh no greens or herbs a few leaves of cilantro will make it look even more appetizing and not this one first chili chili has to be there i'm sorry and i put it back that's it our husband and wife breakfast is ready just like so now I know you guys want me to try my husband's breakfast too I can feel it and it's a tradition first wife tries the breakfast or whatever meal is intended for husband just to check if it's good enough for him mm delicious mm. especially the tomato 
and in general rye bread goes so well with avocado and tomato in general and now the best part this is not gonna be easy because as I said the crust from this sourdough specifically is a bit tough to cut but the middle part is so nice and moist especially from all that um, mixture you know what let me do it normal human way mm. Mm. amazing so delicious and there is no recipe for things like this it's just made by your um, by your feelings so romantic but yeah make it enjoy it most importantly be healthy happy I'll see you soon thank you so much for watching mm. delicious mm, now it's easy to cut huh all of a sudden